It is not just a noise that you've heard few seconds ago. Those are the sounds of a traditional Kazuka sphere, a large annual folk arts and crafts fair called in honor of Saint Kazimir, which is held yearly in the capital of Lithuania, Vilnius, every first weekend of the spring. It is the weekend when every craftsman and artist is heading to the capital in order to show and sell their work to others. And every Lithuanian family is coming to the old town of Vilnius to have a walk around Kazuka sphere and mark the beginning of spring. Now I'm standing just in the middle of slowly moving crowd on the main street of Vilnius where all the action happens. It is the first day of the fair and it's really a full house. There are a lot of colorful tents around. Here you can find everything, starting with jewelry or wooden spoons and ending with different kinds of traditional foods. I can already smell grilled sausages and sauerkraut, as well as flavor of Lithuanian honey beer. Let's follow the crowd and see what we'll find. Now we are standing in front of the coin ash. A boy dressed in the traditional Lithuanian costume can turn a simple coin in the medieval one. He puts the coin on the wooden stump and hits it with a heavy hammer. And here is your new coin. On the right, there is a tent with a pottery and small clay sculptures. On the left, Lithuanian pastries having shapes of mushrooms, flowers and stars. This is an old man playing an accordion. He's sitting just beside the tent full of palm bouquets called verbos in Lithuanian. Those are the ones of the fair specialties. Made of colorful dried flowers and herbs, they are taken to churches on Palm Sunday. The shape of the palms resembles a lily, a flower which Saint Casimir is traditionally associated with. It is kind of a must buy at Kazuka Sphere, so every third person around me is carrying a palm bouquet. Kazuka Sphere is attractive not only for Lithuanians, but can be a great chance for the foreigners to discover Lithuanian culture. Here I see free Asian students wandering around and looking at the wooden goods in the tent nearby. Let's talk to them and discover what their impressions about the fair are. It's nice. It's very interesting because there are a lot of different cultural things. Yeah. What, what did you find the most interesting here? Uh, the food. <laughs> what did you try? Uh, we haven't tried anything yet. We've only been here for like 15 minutes. Yeah, but it's much more grand compared to the winter festival. Yeah, the one that we had last month. Uh, it's very interesting and about <laughs> egg. What is this egg? Easter egg. Easter egg. And it is yeah. very pretty and yeah. Yeah. And I love this fair because it is very traditional fair and yeah, very interesting for us. <laughs> What's the most interesting? Uh, food. <laughs> and the, the flower. The, well, you know, the, yeah. to, celebrate like, the, to celebrate the Easter holiday. The, the, so. Okay, and where are you from? Oh, we are Korea? from South Korea. Yeah. Okay, so do you find any similarities between some traditions uh, in South Korea and with here, or is it uh, very different? Uh, <laughs> food. We want to buy food in the fair in the South Korea too. Yeah, we enjoy the food. And many <laughs> stores in the halls. <laughs> okay. And what about you? You're from Singapore, yeah. right? So do you find any similarities? We actually, some? we actually have these street markets. Yeah, but it's okay. not as grand because we have it like every weekend. So it's on a smaller scale compared to this. And of course, uh, when I walk in Singapore, it's not so cold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but would you recommend your friends from Singapore, from South Korea, to come here to this fair, and why? Yeah, definitely because. You get to see a lot of handicrafts and a lot of homemade stuff and home painted things, especially the paintings. Yeah, we don't really have these paintings back home in Singapore. As we are coming to the end of the main street of Vilnius Old Town, it doesn't become any more silent. Here are the children on the stage singing. Even minus 5 temperature by Celsius is not frightening to them. All the fun and triumph of a folk art will carry on for two more days, doesn't matter what the weather is. Believe me, you want to experience it, so book the first weekend of spring, pack your bags and next year come over to plunge into the Lithuanian traditions. 
and for me, it's time now to enjoy a pastry I bought with a cup of hot herbal tea with honey. Journalist Kristina Belikova, Vilnius, Lithuania.